so day three of the dnc continued to spread more lies and complete bs they had this sheriff by the name of yavi hair uh, zalara from bexar county he is a texas sheriff and he spoke about how kamala harris is all of a sudden doing a wonderful job at the southern border and that donald trump is the one who allowed millions of e undocumented illegal immigrants to cross this country to step on u.s soil and are quite frankly ruining the lives of many of the taxpaying hard-working american middle-class citizens so let's take a look at his speech last night at the dnc now kamala on the other hand has been fighting border crime for years mm. She's gone down to Mexico Ooh. and worked to stop the traffickers. Ooh. And when the traffickers didn't stop, she put them in jail. Tell us about what you Ooh. are asking for. What are your needs? Well, right now, thank you for having me, first off. Right now, what I'm asking for is for the president or a member of his administration that can make decisions to come down and talk to not just me, but at least 12 other Texas sheriffs from major counties in the state of Texas uh, that are dealing with this issue firsthand. So I'd like to see somebody from Washington come down here, get boots on the ground, get eyes on the on the issue at hand, and then talk to us. Uh, uh. So what changed? What changed, Javier? You went at the DNC last night and specifically said that Kamala Harris has been fighting border crime for years. And the minute that she sees a person crossing the border illegally, that she's going to arrest them. But you said on NBC, MSNBC not too long ago that you would like from somebody from the president or vice president cabinet or the president or vice president themselves under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to come down and help you out with the border. What changed? You got caught in a red handed lie. You said, oh, yeah, she's doing a great job at the border. But just a few weeks ago, you said that no, nobody's came down to the border. No, I would like somebody to come down and help us out. We are struggling with the border. There's millions of people coming over here. We need help. What changed? What all of a sudden changed for you to say this? Did you get paid a lot of money under the table? This is what these people do, guys. The Democrats just lie, 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 and they cover their lies with more lies. What changed, Texas Sheriff? What of a sudden changed your tune? Because that's not exactly what you were saying a few weeks ago on MSNBC. Now at the DNC, you're praising Kamala Harris. Said, yes, that she's doing a great job at the border. But if memory serves me correctly, she's never been to the border. She was appointed the border czar, but hasn't done shit. Under her leadership, under her role as the border czar, there's 10, 15, if not 20 million of undocumented illegal immigrants that have cost this country. It is an illegal immigrant invasion. But now you said that she's doing a wonderful job. Oh, the lies. The, the flat out lies that these people say and the fact that they don't think that they're going to get exposed about their lies. It's quite frankly hysterical to me. A, a bipartisan group of Texas sheriffs look at they're really taking a common sense look at this tag Texas sheriffs please for more help from federal government look at that ticker right there at the bottom Texas sheriffs please for more help from federal government about the illegal immigrants crossing the border about the border crisis but he went on DNC last night Wednesday night and said that Kamala Harris is doing a great job and that she's been fighting the border crisis ever since she stepped into office so clearly he got caught a red-headed lie he got caught red-handed lying to you guys and for the people who do not know politics politics who are not informed about politics they would believe this person's lie this is what we're talking about who people who vote based off emotion and based off the fact that they watch mainstream news propaganda this motherfucker is lying to you lie flipped his tune did a complete 180 and now the people who did not watch this interaction on msnbc a few weeks ago about this sheriff pleading for more help from the federal government they're gonna believe what he said at the dnc talk about kamala is doing a great job really for the people who live in new york for the people who live in chicago for the people who live in california for the people who live in the most democratic blue states they're saying the complete opposite they say no the illegal immigrants are taking over our territory they taking them over they're getting free housing free clothing free money free health insurance free education free cars free everything under the sun they don't have a social security number to their name but how somehow they're getting all the free resources that we pay tax dollars for 
But if you make a certain amount, even though you're still struggling, the federal government deems you unworthy to get access to more financial aid help. Make it make sense, guys. Make it make fucking sense. Again, these are the same ignorant ass black people. This is who the Democrats target. If you're ignorant, if you're black, if you believe the mainstream news propaganda is lies, or you're just not informed in politics whatsoever, this is who they target. This is exactly who they target, but the people who are directly affected by this migration crisis are going to tell you, no, that's not true. We getting killed. These people are getting a free ride. And the fact that they want to give them voter rights so that they can vote to keep the Democrats in power. Meet people. Black people have been voting Democrats for damn near 60 years. What have they done for you in 60 years that you've been voting for them? Let's see. Single motherhood is worse. Black people are more poor. They're getting evicted at a high rate. They can't keep their house. They can't keep no property. They're broke. They have no money in their bank account. They are struggling to provide for themselves financially. And they have kids. They have to depend on food stamps. But you're gonna continue to vote blue. Why? Because your black peers told you to? What have they done to help you out? Again, Joe Biden and Barack Obama had 12 years in the White House. We have had more division under Democratic leadership than Donald Trump was in office. Trump was only in office for four years. Joe Biden and Barack Obama had 12 years of control in the White House. For the majority, the Democrats either controlled the Senate or controlled the House of Representatives or both, but they can't get shit done. Why? But these are the people that you're going to listen to to say, no, we're still going to vote Democrat. But you're poor, you're more broker, you're a financial wreck, you're a mental wreck, you're a physical wreck. Because you believe they lies. What changed? The Texas sheriff changed his tune because he got paid a lot of money to say positive things about Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, if you take a trip down to the southern border, it is a complete and utter mess approach because we have to can't believe it but hey you're not informed you don't watch shit you will believe they lies but let me know what you guys think about this texas sheriff completely flip-flopping and lying getting caught red-headed lying at the dnc about the troubles at the southern border do you agree or disagree with my commentary leave your comments down below smash the like button subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys later deuces